I'm going to talk about the biggest thing that is missing when you're trying to recover from an addiction. Now, if you're recovering from alcohol, for example, you have to realize that in your body, alcohol acts as a carbohydrate, even though it's alcohol itself is not a carbohydrate. Now they put carbohydrates in it, like beer, wine, things like that, mixed drinks. But pure alcohol, ethanol is not a carbohydrate which means you'll have the fluctuations of blood sugar issues, okay? Because your body's constantly trying to get rid of it. Uh, it considers it a toxin, so it's pulling it out as a priority, and uh, there's a lot of uh, liver issues and things like that. So the symptoms from that alone, from the blood sugar highs and lows, are gonna be anxiety, fatigue, moodiness, definitely craving, dizzy, and confusion. So if you're at a program like Alcohol Anonymous, for example, you're gonna replace the alcohol for carbohydrates, okay? Because donuts, sugar in the coffee, cookies, candy, load you up with carbohydrates. So you never really get rid of this blood sugar problem. Realize what we're dealing with is a major chemical imbalance. Whether it's drugs or alcohol, those things are pulling nutrients out of your tissues. And what I mean by chemical imbalance is a nutrient imbalance, um, nutrient deficiencies big time. And there's a condition behind this blood sugar fluctuation called insulin resistance. And when you have insulin resistance, you have difficulty absorbing nutrients in the first place. So not only is the alcohol creating a deficiency, but the insulin resistance is also on top of that blocking your ability to absorb nutrients. So it keeps things completely out of balance. I would run your body on ketones, okay? Ketones are an alternative fuel. Ketones are a byproduct of burning your own fat. Your body loves ketones and prefers ketones, but way over glucose. When you are in ketosis, which means you're running your body in ketones, these symptoms completely go away. You just feel much better. Now, how do you do it? You have to lower your carbs, but you want to be on a healthy keto eating plan. So you want to lower your carbs, and then you want to do fasting, intermittent fasting. What's interesting about fasting is that it will also put your body into a healing mode, so you start repairing the insulin resistance, so now you start absorbing nutrients. But you do have to realize that this process, even though you're going to feel better right away, takes quite a bit of time to correct especially if you've been abusing drugs or alcohol for a long period of time. So you may need to do this for some months, if not years, to really see the full benefits. But you'll be feeling good, so you want to, want to continue it. The other thing that I think is very, very important in the meantime, while you, you're doing this, is to actually take ketones themselves. Okay, you can get them in a supplement or through something called MCT oil that will turn into ketones. So these are called exogenous ketones or ketone salts. You take them, your brain starts feeling a lot better. It makes it easier to be successful long-term, especially because there are a lot of symptoms that are associated with withdrawals and physiological uh, cravings for certain things. So you wanna satisfy the body with the right fuel. That's number one. Number two, you wanna give it certain nutrients. The best source of the B complex is nutritional yeast. What you want to do is you want to be consuming this all day long. It's going to help you have large amounts of it. You'll just feel better uh, from it. Next thing is trace minerals. Uh, trace minerals are also very important in many different things, but you become deficient in trace minerals when you consume alcohol or take drugs as well. Vitamin C is also important, but don't just get the regular vitamin C that you would get at the you know, drugstore. That's synthetic. You want to get a food-based, a natural vitamin C complex. You want to keep taking these for a period of months and months until your body comes to a balanced state. I think the implementation of these basic things, these, this basic diet, is not emphasized enough in these rehab programs. So I highly recommend that you just try it so you can actually see for yourself, and then you'll really know. So I put the how-to basic video on this page. Check it out.